Oh, hello, YouTube. Uh, today we have live power. These two wires are plugged in to, to the receptacle. So, yes, these are live. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with this thing. It's a neon continuity tester that you buy, you know, at certain stores that sell this for testing, uh, see if you have electrical continuity. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going <laughs> to, without getting short circuits, is connect one. Let me see something here first. Okay. Connect one and the other to the tester. And as you can see, it lights up. Now you might be asking yourself, why am I holding this one with my finger? Because I'm holding that neutral. I can't get a shock from the neutral. See that? I'm holding it. And my fingers, and here's the hot, right here, the bolt where the black is. And it lights up, see that? Now, how did I know which one of these was hot and which one was neutral? That's real easy. You hold one of these in your hand with this tester and you hit each lead with the, with, with, you know, with the other. I'm sorry. You hit each lead until you see what happens. So I'm holding the one end of the tester lead in my hand. I'm going to go to each lead and watch the neon and see what it does. And see there it lights up. It's, I know it's hard to see, but this one, it does nothing. Let me shut this light off. Maybe be able to see it easier. Yeah, so I go to the one lead, and you can see how the neon lights up. That's the hot. And the other one is the ground. It does nothing. It doesn't light up. See that? So that's how I know which one of these I can put my hand on and hold it without getting a shock, which is this one, the neutral. See, I'm holding it. And then I take the other lead and touch it to the hot. You see the tester lights up. Remember what I said about standing on half of the circuit? You know, this is the neutral. I can touch this safely, not get a shock. But I wouldn't dare touch this one with my hand. So I could get shock or I could get electrocuted. And that would not be a good thing, right? Unless some of you hate me that much. I don't know. So yeah, that's it. You got neutral and you got your hot. And we'll show you that one more time. I'm gonna hold hold the one end of the tester in my hand, then we go to the hot with the other lead. And watch the tester light go on. See it? It's, it's dim, but it does light. And that's how you find your hot wire with one of these little neon testers. And of course, when you go across both leads, it's going to be a lot brighter. I'm just trying to be careful here not to get shocked. Or not to touch or forget which lead I'm touching. And you can see it when you make full connection. How bright it gets. I would love to take the two of these and short them together, but I don't want to. I don't want to have to go down the cellar and reset my breaker. But you get my point. <laughs> so yeah, one safe, one unsafe. So turn the light back on. Thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining my channel. Please subscribe. And yeah, you can see this is plugged in. But look at, I'm not joking. It's there, there, it's plugged right in down there. Look at, no bullshit. I'm not faking this. <laughs> this is real. So again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you all again later. Let me pull this out before. I I get an accident. Oh, God.
Now I can short them together. <laughs> Take care, YouTube. See you later. Bye bye. What's the off switch on this damn thing? No. Can't see where the off switch is. Oh, there.